So a ring network um, is another simple form of network topology that we can that we can use. Um, all devices are arranged essentially in a ring um, in logical format, and they are. If we just label these up, we might sort of label them as A, B, C, D, going all the way around in kind of like a clock or clockwise fashion. Uh, a bit like other topologies, these don't have to necessarily have to be computers. They ca they can be. Um, for this purpose, they can also be things like printers and mobile phones, etc. Data is transmitted in one direction around the ring. So for the sense of this discussion, we're going to say it goes in a clockwise direction. And let's say I want to communicate from computer A and I want to communicate with computer G. The network has to communicate the uh, data all the way around the ring through all of the individual machines up to that point before the correct machine receives the um, receives the destination or receives the data that it was intended. They're very cheap and simple to set up. One cable, connect the devices in. Again, it's poor performance, uh, a bit like a bus topology in that the more devices you add onto this cable, the slower it's gonna go. Could you imagine if you've got 300 devices on here and you wanna communicate from device one all the way around to device 275, it's gonna take a long time. There's security issues around data being transmitted all the way around each of these uh, devices. It's not really very robust. If I were to cut the cable here, the whole thing is destroyed. Cut the cable here, same thing again. And it is difficult to add new devices as well because again, you have to break the cable and drop new machines onto it. So not another great type of network, but it does work and it does have function still in certain areas of, of the IT industry.